Hi everyone, I'm Alessia and I'm Keisha and we're back for another episode of Rimmel London's London Fashion Week Diaries. Today we're visiting the Model Sanctuary which Erin O'Connor put together in a strictly secret location. It's offering nutritional advice, a chance for the models to come and get massages, pedicures, manicures and just a chance to come in and recharge the batteries ready for the next London Fashion Show. We were also told before that it took them a week to decorate the whole of this building ready for London Fashion Week and so all the fashion students from the universities around London have come in especially to paint the room so have a look at this what the one of them have done. This is in the sleep room. Shh. <laughs> and just a load of people have come to volunteer to just help out for the London Fashion Week, which is really nice of them. Very They're nice. not getting paid. There's also a Rimmel room, which is amazing. And Rimmel have got all the photos up and the Union Jack rugs. And there's even a photo booth in there where you can take loads of pictures of yourself. It comes out all vintage. We've got some <laughs> in our bags. Hello. Hi. 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 We're in the house. We're in the house. Okay. We're in the model sanctuary in the Rimmel room. The Union Jacks don't give away. Yeah, don't yeah. Give away. The, the, this is where the action's at. Our first question to you, Erin, today. Yes. Why did you set up the model sanctuary? That's a corker of a question. Mm -hmm. I like that being the first. I set up the Model Sanctuary because I felt that I wanted to have a separate space for the models that were working during London Fashion Week, where they could call it their own, they could hang out, they could just be. I think so much focus is on the way that we look, it's how we earn our living. And I don't have a problem with that at all, but you know, most of the models that work during London Fashion Week are young adults and they're coming into an industry that potentially is quite public. So I felt that they needed a space that was entirely their own. What's really funny about being in this room, all the girls want all the coloured room and makeup. It's like people would assume we'd be bored of being made up, but actually for ourselves, we want a makeover. Yeah. We want to go out after work and get busy and play. Enjoy what you want, not what's painted yeah, on. Yeah, so us. it's defining it's our own right? identity in this room, and it's very walkers indeed. And I love that. That's exactly how it should be. What sort of things have the models said about this model sanctuary? What, what were their comments on it as individuals? Well, I think the feedback has been really, really important for me to hear because though I helped to set it up, if you like, yeah. ultimately, this is their space. They make it by being here. What advice could oh, you give no. to an aspiring models? <laughs> Do you know, I think one of the most challenging things in life, whether you're a model or not, and it just doesn't matter what walk of life you come from, it's being yourself. But at the end of the day, when the pretty lights have gone down and we've finished working, it's really important for me to, to feel like myself again and to be really comfortable with that. Hello! Hi guys, we've just left the model sanctuary. It and was amazing. It was incredible. We've got loads of goodies in our bags. Ta -da. And you have to write something here, um, a quote, something that makes you happy. So we're going to do that and send it off to Erin. She was so helpful and so So kind. nice. So nice. So patient. I feel like we're friends with her. Yeah. Do you know Be what I mean? I Bezzies. feel like we're friends. Bezzies for life. Bezzies for life. Um, um, it was just incredible. It's an amazing place. They're doing such a great thing. Everyone who we spoke to loves it. Loves it. So don't forget, we're back tomorrow for another episode of Rimmel London's Fashion Week Diaries. Where we'll be getting our own Fashion Week makeovers by a top makeup artist. See you tomorrow. Bye! Bye.